In 2002, after a checkup in my hometown of Hibbing, Minnesota, regarding my then noticeable case of pectus excavatum, I was arranged to meet with specialists Dr. Moyer and Penny Stablo at the St. Mary's Children's Hospital in Rochester, Minnesota. Pectus excavatum is, where the, is a condition of the chest wall where it's sunken in, and it's typically a condition that gets worse as the kids grow older. The actual cause is probably a abnormality in the way the cartilage grows. Because they look abnormal they and they don't feel as well as the other kids that they don't participate in um, extracurricular sporting events. So psychologically it bothers them that they're not as active and quote healthy as other kids. The other aspect though of it is, uh, this is research that Penny's done, is looking at how kids adapt to it. And kids with pectuses have some terrific adaptations. Mm -hmm. They use humor, a lot of humor, uh, to deal with the fact that they are different than others. We've had kids show us that they feed their dog in their pectus. They'll put the dog food right there. We've seen cereal um, and milk and scoop it or chip and dip. Uh, there's two procedures. The NUS procedure is a modification of the standard ravage operation that's been done for years and years. You're putting a stainless steel bar right, in, right between the sternum and the heart coming out the other side. And when you look at those patients in the operating room, they've got this bar that's about this long kind of going on one side of their chest and coming out the other side of the chest. It's like those magic boxes, mm -hmm. you know, how's the lady not cut in half sort of thing. Here's the chest. Yeah, the bar goes in here and comes out the other side, so it's going underneath that. And then you take the bar and you flip it over. And that it, flips the yeah, chest. Yeah, it flips over and pushes the chest up. Day one is surgery. Day two is we need to get you up and moving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, start with foods. Um, day three is pretty heavy on the physical activity. I'd like to see them walk at least six to eight times move them over to solid foods and get them on oral pain medication so that day four uh, they're able to go home eating, drinking, able to get themselves dressed and head on home. Then the bar is kind of like braces on the teeth. You want it to sit in there and brace the chest while the child's finishing growth. So as they're going through teenage years and up to about age 18 almost, especially for a guy, you just want to leave the bar in. Then once the chest is finished growing, is firm and solid, you can go ahead and take it out. That's an outpatient operation. You just come in, have one or both of the incisions opened up, free up the bar, slide it out. They go home same day, taking their bar with them. The most satisfying thing by far is to have the kids come in and say, I feel so much better. I'm doing a lot better. I'm very happy. That's, that by far is the most satisfying thing. Five years later, I can honestly say that I'm feeling a lot better and that I'm very happy with the final outcome.